Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, comment, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we've got two cards pulled from the uh, angel ancestors deck i believe that's what it's called um yeah angels and ancestors oracle so our first card is earth mother and then the second card is traveler so some of you are really coming into a great season in your life especially if you're divine feminine um and if you are not divine feminine then you, need, you need to take some time and kind of jump into your feminine energy start nurturing yourself taking care of yourself self-care grooming uh, really checking in with you asking yourself how do I really feel about this where am I going some of you could have kind of felt out of sorts or uh, kind of emotionally upset or just all over the place but now you're coming back into grounding especially with earth mother showing up um, some of you are going into again different seasons in your life what is it maiden mother crone so some of you are going into uh, being a grandmother or an elder uh, of some sort and then some of you are going into being a parent for the first time some of you are just uh, arriving into adulthood um so everybody's of course is at a different stage but you're you know you're embarking on this new thing and maybe that's why you kind of felt off course but it says allow yourself to be pampered because you are the divine feminine and if you're not the divine feminine then you need to kind of jump into that energy and uh, do some things that will help foster your feminine side there because you might just be acting a little too masculine and masculine energy is when you're thinking you're doer uh you institute you bring something into fruition you, but the feminine energy is also about maintaining or maintenance so uh, so again asking yourself how do you feel um cultivation uh, it's just about really making it work and making it stick there's some relationship maybe with mother your mother you being a mother because some of you could be pregnant or getting pregnant that could be very important for you right now too maybe the relationship with your mother will improve somehow or it is improving or now you're coming in terms you're coming into a different mindset about being a mother maybe you didn't want to now you want to um some of you are really going through again the relationship with your mother because it's holding you back from having a real loving connection all right um because you don't know how to know, nurture or you, you just weren't shown shown correctly in your upbringing traveler so this may be some time for you to travel you know um this is a time for change in the earth mother but it also is a time to bring back things and back into balance harmony the traveler this is a time for things to end. Maybe you go on that spiritual journey, whether it is, you know, spiritual or it is actual physical. Some of you will be traveling. The opportunity to travel is here. We are, you know, going into the summer season. It is spring now here in the United States. So um, people are traveling, making traveling plans. It's just in a time for you to uh, really see yourself through a different lens, maybe immerse yourself in a different culture travel somewhere different um and also this could be travel within like learn something new about yourself that you can then you know bring forth and maybe you could share with other people so this is a time aquarius where you're really taking time to focus in on you um a lot of healing it, it's like healing by doing it's not the healing by sitting with therapists or or reading a book but it's more so healing by doing and acknowledging also so you're in a really good place aquarius um i'm just gonna yes some of you just really uh moving in a new direction okay and um you need to feel loved you need to be loved um love is all around you is what i heard all right so let's see um i'm just trying to get back to this card because there was something else that was about okay some of you 
this spiritual journey is causing you to feel alone you know because you can't take some of those people that you used to hang with hang around be around you can't take them with you they don't understand what you're going through some of you are really feeling again lonely at the top or lonely on this journey but do know that you have your ancestors your angels all of those spiritual beings around you don't feel lonely uh, very soon you'll go on a journey or maybe you'll find your soul tribe and these people will be companions friends for life um, it's just time for you to take that journey you got to move away from people that are not serving you people that are they don't have much going for themselves they don't see life how you see it you don't share the same you don't share the same sentiment about certain issues you don't share anything any longer outside of frivolity and superficiality and you know it's just not real some of you are realizing that you've lost friends uh going on the spiritual journey some of you feel alone but the cards want you to know you're not alone all right so let's get into the reading Let's see, uh, what do the cards really want to tell Aquarius about where Aquarius is right now? Some of you are about to be married, pregnant. You're going to get something. You're going on some journey here. Let's see, where's Aquarius? How is Aquarius coming into the reading? The hanged man. Yeah, you, you're just waiting because you're kind of in limbo here. Um... This is also Pisces, and Pisces is the fish, it's spirituality. Some of you are definitely with the traveler delving into spirituality, um, getting enlightenment about yourself, you know, um, how you operate, how you have been, have not been, what you haven't done, how you didn't do this. It's also just when you taking a time out. Because in the hangman, you ask yourself, why haven't I had what I really wanted? So it's more so a spotlight on you. What part you played in different circumstances, situations. So it's more so just really taking time out for you. And you're going to re-engage once you get that enlightenment. Um, let's see. How else is Aquarius coming into the reading? Can we clarify? The eight of swords, so feeling stuck, stuck in your mind, maybe negative thinking, waiting for rescue, waiting for the cavalry, but you you can't wait, honey. You gotta let, you know, reduce this to the seven of swords and come up with a plan. Revise a plan. Um, maybe you're feeling stuck on something or someone or you're thinking about something over and over again. It's not good thoughts with the eight of swords. It's like a mental prison. Okay. Um, you're thinking that something's not gonna happen keep in mind you're you're a really good manifester so if you don't want that to happen then try not to think about it replace all negative thoughts with 10 different positive ones right after that um in the eight of swords the air of being good natured so some of you trusted a situation or you trusted someone or you were vulnerable or you you were very hopeful very romantic and you feel like this person took advantage of you with the hangman and the eight of swords you felt like being you having that good nature about yourself got you in the eight of swords it got you stuck it got you up in your head um hurt crying not knowing how to get away from this overthinking um give me one more card for where aquarius is right now but you need to trust your power trust that um trust the universe hurt yeah trust that you know that you're a good catch with the queen of pentacles coming out that um this is a very lucky time and fertile time in your life aquarius a significant committed relationship could come into your life some of you are concerned about business matters money matters and you need to be more concerned about yourself furthering you in the pentacle maybe even taking care of yourself beauty regimens your body your home furnishings 
the moon card. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer here. I don't really get Scorpio. It could be. Um, you Again, you feel like you did a lot to stay in a particular situation, particular relationship. You made so many different adjustments, made so much concession for this person or this relationship altogether. It, it may have not been what you really wanted in the beginning, but you, you kind of, you know, overlook things or overlook things that the person did or didn't do. You were the contortionist. You, you put yourself in so many different, um, you know, uh, moves and you made so many different moves for this person or you, um, you were, you were willing to maneuver for this person or this relationship. And it only got you in the place of the eight of swords where you stuck in your head and maybe even discrediting or discounting yourself and your worth. But it says that now you're realizing that you, you're a good catch. You are worthy. The moon card talks about veiled or behind the veil. You could be dealing with someone who's very different from you. It's always been a clash. It's always been a mix up or a mashup. It's always been um, either you make this person uncomfortable or they make you uncomfortable. With the moon card, you guys are separated. And in this separation, there's a lot of emotions coming out. Again, with the earth mother coming out at this time you could be feeling very emotional like just all over the place we do have the full moon coming up on may the 16th you could be lying to yourself about how you really feel or how you don't feel or you, something is foggy something is is hidden it has not been revealed Give me one card for the moon for how Aquarius is feeling. Or how Aquarius is coming to the reading. The nine of cups. Okay, so some of you, I, and I was getting that, but I didn't want to speak too soon. <clears throat> some of you could be thinking real negative about a, a particular relationship, situation, job. I don't know, whatever's going on in your life that you're thinking negatively about. But it says you're going to get what you want, Nine of Cups. It's just that you're separated from this person, place, or thing. And in the separation, because there's a lot of unknown or something being veiled, or you just can't read it accurately, correctly, you don't know. And Aquarius is, I think I know. So, and you don't know, it's got you in the not knowing. You're thinking negatively about it. You need to change that because... You have the opportunity to have the nine of cups to have exactly what you want out of this situation. How is a particular person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for? How, do, how are they coming in? Where are they are? Where they are? Where are they? <laughs> okay, so you get the Empress, which is kind of like Earth Mother. So this person is the Empress. But this is how they're looking at you. They're starting something new, new relationship, new way of living, abundant, open, loving, caring, maintaining, maintenance, uh, fruitful. Um, they could be in the arts. They could be um, feminine. You could be Aquarius is a masculine energy. So your person could be feminine, even if your person is a man and you're the woman, you know, so keep that in mind um your person is starting something new how is this person coming into the reading clarify this the eight of cups they're on this journey here they're walking away from things that don't serve them that disadvantage um boredom they're finishing up something and moving on hmm so we got starting something new and then finishing up and moving on what what is going on here for aquarius person the hermit card it looks like your person on this soul journey you're in a place of getting what you want earth mother and maybe your person is taking a little bit of your energy in terms of the traveler they're kind of they're on a spiritual journey they they're analyzing themselves self-analysis 
this is um quietly moving on finishing something up and then moving on with the hermit card this is a um a transition of personality so maybe your your person is changing and they need this opportunity to do so maybe without you not being around you not talking to you because we got another card of separation with the hermit card they could have ghosted you or you feel ghosted they're going through something this could be ascending i don't know let's see what's going on here for our aquarius person okay uh, five of cups they could be going through something um they're trying to recover something also regret not saying things or regret saying things or this is also this is regret not saying things if the relationship is strained they're trying to figure out how they can get it back because in the five of cups it says that a relationship is recoverable it also says that maybe somebody's going through a grieving period um, and an immense change is what I heard. Big change. They're letting something go and seeking one on one. Seven of Wands. It's like they're trying to stay in their position, be proactive. So if you're being proactive about something, then you're getting in front of it. And then we had Eight of Cups. We had finishing up and moving on. It's like your person's trying to come out of a, a lifestyle. A cycle um, we've got things people coming at your person seven of wands they're trying to defend themselves they've had some type of victory or they're having a victory yeah six of pentacles you might even have your person trying to block you energetically they feel so many emotions for you they're trying to block something they may be going through this grieving process with the six of pentacles something shifted what happened here what it was it's like what's going on here what is aquarius person blocking could be blocking a relationship blocking this out what is this the tower these sudden feelings thoughts event oh they're not trying to go through it it's like they they want to go through it then they're not trying to go through it they don't want to ascend but then they want to ascend they want to be better but then they don't want to be better hmm they're trying to avoid that tower moment. Yeah, I knew it. Two of Pentacles is like they're wrestling with this change that they need to make in their life. They know they can't keep juggling you and something else or you and another person, you and a lifestyle. They have to make some decision here. The twos are about decision. Let's see what's really going on Let's see if we can open this up a little bit what is Aquarius person going through it's like they know that they need to be better I don't know they might be blocking you out not talking to you purposely ignoring you what is Aquarius person going through sweet it's like maybe they know that you're so sweet I'm trying to be rational you got green cards here so they're like going through some type of growth wow and it came out of my hand like they're going through some type of growth growing pains are hard you know and really waking up to yourself is hard so maybe your person just they, they're coming out of the dark they got african-american they can be african-american but a lot of times i get this car when it's like dark you know they're coming out of the dark maybe they're handling some business in their life i did have the two of pentacles 
dark business. Like maybe something you didn't know about. What is going on for Aquarius person? They're trying to come out. They're trying to come out of fighting, or they're trying to come out of you know the fight of ascending and being better. They're trying to not to fight it anymore. They know it's a good idea to be better. Maybe to be with you. They have to raise their vibration, their standard. Give us a few more cards, if you will. This is deep. It's like your person. I feel like whatever they're going through, um, I'm horrible with money. Maybe your person has money issues. We did have the two of pentacles when that's a lot of transferring, you know, looking over finances, transferring money from one account, discount, you know, trying to keep everything up. This also could come out when people want to say they're horrible with valuable things and they could see you as valuable Aquarius like they don't know how to maintain you know something that's valuable or they don't place value where it belongs you know so your person could be trying to come out of addiction also with the stoner trying to come out of being out of their mind or liking to be just um inebriated intoxicated yeah they're trying to come out of fear missing out of FOMO so it's like they just trying to really get comfortable with commitment because this doesn't read as if this is a person who's comfortable with committing so it's like they're trying to come out of that and trying to have you know heal from fear of missing out there's a lot of love for you wow wow they want to do something real big and loud so we got loud mouth coming out they's like want to scream it from the top of a mountain how much they love you because they feel like you're the smart choice you're the, the smart idea they may want to spend big money on you they definitely want to surprise you with a new life new home new car new baby just a big surprise um this person you have to get them some time they going through a lot um what's the advice for aquarius advice for Aquarius. you did something Aquarius that made this person realize that you are the one they you're the one that they need to be spending time with that they need to choose they also have a whole nother life that you don't know about they're trying to come out of the dark they're trying to ascend growth let's see what is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person so ace of wands and three of cups I heard get out there so even though your person is trying to ascend and be better for you oh i heard three months yeah the queen of pentacles coming out again this person looks at you as a wife this is the embodiment of the empress and we have the empress and we have the empress and the earth mother so i don't know it's like this this could be this is summertime too the three of cups it's happening now in spring the wands are spring it's like I heard get out there get out there because you don't want to wait but something is happening can we can you clarify this what is this yeah somebody's making a complete transition the king of cops i like to see him as a husband like somebody wants to be that person for you but they got to go through like that death and rebirth process like they have to go through a major transition before they wow can't make it up six of wands at the bottom of the deck before they can propose something to you and they know that about themselves and they know and they're, they're actively trying to do it your cards don't want you to just sit around or wring your fingers and be sad or wait by the phone they want you to still be active still you know hang out with friends date three of cups is about dating 
Um, get out there. Do something. Throw your hat in the ring. Be up for the challenge. What exactly is the Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups for the advice? Eight of Pentacles. Work on yourself. Self-development. Do something over and over again. Um, this is also making something work. Maybe a business. You need to be focused on the business of you, Aquarius. You could even have your own business. There's going to be some wins here. You're going to get something. Especially if you're an entrepreneur. These are two entrepreneurial cards. They want you to know that something or something is trans. Okay, so the King of Cups, the King of Emotional Balance is uh, transforming or there's transition happening. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, male. Let's see. Yeah, they, they're letting something go. It could be not a lot of communication between the two of you. This person could be kind of isolated because they're going through something. Oh, I was about to say it too. And it flipped out on the floor. They're going through the dark night of the soul. They could be leaving something behind, but it's, it's causing a lot of restlessness, friskiness in their life. Sometimes this card comes out when you have other options, but you kind of ignore them. And then those people get a little testy with you. They, you know, they start to try to cause a little drama with you. Your person is like trying to make a head over heart decision. They feel stuck, isolated. They know that they need to mature. They have some plans though. They're on a journey. Something's coming full circle. They think they're getting away from it or they're moving away from it, but it's coming right back. Yeah, four ones at the bottom of the deck. Reunion, successful completion of a project. The project is them, the whole project, yeah. Um, this is something they have to go through. I don't think you could really help them with that Aquarius outside of maybe praying for them, lighting a candle for them. Uh, if you feel like you want to, you know, you don't have to do anything, right? Um. All right, oh, let's see. Your person is going through it, through it, through it. Woo. Where is Aquarius? Or what is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person? So this person, they want you to know that they love how you dress. They think you're a fashionista. They have a lot of passion for you, okay? They want you to know that your person is really going through an illness or sick. or they, they also could be sick or there's an illness that they're going through. There could even be pain in their body, physical pain, um, security. They feel secure at home, comfortable with you. Get security, check your security. This person is going through it and they just feel like at times it, it just costs too much. Either that is money, like some of your your people can even be married or coupled and they feel like if I leave this person, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. That could be literal. And then for some of you, your person is really going through that ascension process where you're like, damn, this, I'm really gonna have to, this is a lot. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot emotionally. I'm gonna have to leave this behind. I have to do this and do this and change this about my life. And am I ready for it? So your person goes back and forth with, you know, are they ready? And for some of them, they feel like it just costs too much to be, to be, um, you know, a higher being. They might just choose to, you know, stay in the dark. I don't know. Legacy. So there's like something long-term happening with you in this particular person it's like the divine is really trying to ready the both of you 
definitely a person for our union. Woo. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put these back because they all came out. I don't know how they're supposed to come out. Let's see what else. All right, so what else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? Comfortable. They could be comfortable with you. They could be comfortable where they are in their life. They got to get out of that comfort zone. Yeah, theatrics. Like, they, they're they really showing. I don't know. This person could be acting like one thing, but it's another. No compromise. Yeah, don't compromise. Get Because you're deserving of so much more. Don't compromise if this person doesn't want to ascend and be higher. Especially if this person just wants to be friends with benefits. Um, say no thanks. Oh, that one to pop out. Yeah, you might have to tell this person, text me, don't call me. Um... You might have to kind of draw a line there, especially if they try to come back and they're not in the vibration that they need to be in. Wow, if they're irrational, because they had rational. Yeah, they make irrational promises or promises. No sex with your friend. If they can't be your fiance, husband, boyfriend at least, no, no sex with friends. I do not have sex with friends. Because it's like they'll try to get you in that complacent spot of, again, being, you know, maybe friends with benefits. This person was having a lot of sex with different people, too. And they were comfortable doing this. They made promises to everybody is what I'm hearing. They're completely irrational. They could be telling people, text me, don't call me now. Yeah, they had a lot of friends with benefits. It says don't compromise with this also. If they try to come back in that energy, tell them no. Oh, well, this one to flip out. Yeah, hurt people, hurt people. Let us think it. So if they hurt you, just know that they, they're hurt. They had nothing to give, but it just always wants to come out for you. Valentine's Day could be significant, 2023, or it was significant, uh, 2022. Maybe they were stealing that, because these are orange cards and that very passionate, you know, um, sexual energy, this low vibe and low life, you know. Um, it could be weeks of no communication between the two of you right now. Could have been dealing with an all-out thug, all right? Sometimes, you know, when a man knows that you're the one, but they have really chosen you, it could be money. Money's holding them back. Um, can't talk after 8 p.m. Some of you people are still in relationships, marriages, and they're stuck. But again, they have a lot of love for you. What else did we want to tell Aquarius? Waiting. You could be waiting. You're waiting and understanding this person. Or you could be straight up stalking the other person. But this person, they could be mixed race. You're mixed race. Or this is somebody with like mixed mind. Like they go back and forth like we talked about. Yeah. Making decisions out of fear and, and not from a place of love in a, a place of, they're making decisions from lust they're trying to retire that because they've been doing that for years okay it's the last two cards like this person's like obsessed with you you know i stare at your pictures for hours i'm obsessed 
because you are the earth angel we have mother earth or earth mother but they want you to know that uh, or you need to tell this person you have not healed heal okay and some of you still have some healing to do also I'll leave you with some all up in your business oracles, I believe. So this is about like career and finance and then we'll get out of here. So the takeaway from this is your person is going through a lot of ascension. They know you're the one. They know you're an earth angel. They're obsessed with you. They can't leave you alone. They know that they need to come to a higher vibration to deal with you. Um, they're fighting it or they're trying to come out of fighting it. A lot is going on with them. They have to rearrange and restructure and re, 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 re their entire life to be with you. So, you know, that's tough. You know, what do we want to tell Aquarius from the business cards? All up in your beige. Okay. Clear your energy. Stop dropping. Realign with your highest. So you need to clear your energy. Uh, you got a lot going on. This is when you're scattered. You could be trying to make a lot happen at once or you're so many irons in the fire. Um, or you're letting other things cloud your judgment. Things that have nothing to do with career or finance. Visualize. See it. Be it. Okay. Um, what's the vision? Be able, visual, or being visual, or visualizing, is being able to close your eyes, imagine where you want to go, you know, in your career, your finances, imagine um, where you want to be, and then you come back to where you are, you start to make plans to get to that place that you envisioned, so can you visualize, are you able to, you need to see the vision manifestation you are a manifesting machine you are and we talked about that Aquarius you know what you think about is um it just comes to life instantly for some of you launch now is the time it's time for you to put it out there some of you have been toiling with this thing and going back and fixing it and twerking it and tweaking it and just all kinds of stuff it's time to launch you know and maybe even get some real world feedback you know, um, so that maybe you can then go back to the drawing board with some uh, real advice about how you can um, better your service product uh, yourself if you are the product. Okay. So Aquarius this is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Um, go to the community tab, get a discount code, and then go to the website and book your reading there. Um, yeah, it's a lot going on. I don't, I think you're okay, Aquarius. Your person, it seems like they're in a place of, they need to rise above. They could be pulling on your energy. You could feel it. Maybe that's why they, it has you, excuse me, kind of out of sorts, you know. This is what I have. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and um, Sunday night live where I answer your questions. I do a collective reading. So come at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care. Many blessings to you. Bye.